I it took me a long time to to understand again, not sort of financially mm. an expert in any way. So I didn't really know how a KiwiSaver actually worked, you know, just got told to, to mm. get one. And when you start to see drops uh, for someone that doesn't actually know how sure. it works, it was like, why yeah. is there just yeah, like, hold on. all this yeah. money coming out of my <laughs> account, you know? Yeah, exactly. I've yeah. woken up this morning and there's a thousand dollars. Someone's taking happened. the money yeah. out of this account and, yeah. and putting it into and something I think else. that's why this is a probably a broader sort of subject, but why don't they teach that? at school. Like, yeah, right. Why do you, I, I know some people thrive at school with your standard mm. run the mill subjects and stuff, yeah. but I don't know, my opinion, armchair opinion on it is that if you invested some more effort into teaching kids some of those real life skills, stuff yeah. like that, yeah. not everyone needs to invest in the share market, but just how that kind of stuff works. For sure. Surely we're going to be putting out kids that are so much, 100%, like attacking the 100%. world from such a better yeah. starting point. Yeah. Yeah, I I, f- I feel like stuff. at the age that I'm at, I should know all about what's ah, going on, but yeah. I just don't, and 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 it's it's partly my fault. Of course, I'm not really taking the time to really learn about what my money's mm. doing or what I can be doing with my money. But I mean, the problem with schools, man, is is like this is an age old conversation. We should be getting taught this in schools. We should be getting taught that in totally. schools. But um, school really just felt like a place to learn how to learn, you know. Yeah. It wasn't necessarily any transferable skills. It was just like how to get your brain working. Yeah. Um, and where, do, where, do you, where do you start bringing in, you know, education like that, that's like specific mm. to, to that sort of topic? To, to day-to-day yeah. living, yeah. yeah. And I, I feel, feel like, like it's a whole other thing if you're teaching someone how to live life rather mm-hmm. than like school's not, not teaching you how, no. how to live no. life. It's, it's basically separating to, academic students from non-academic students yeah. and then sort of offering some very vague pathways and then it's not until maybe your last year at high school or even yeah. to be honest most people are probably making actual decisions when they've left high school yeah and it's like at that point it's too late like you could start informing or just put a put a different premium on different types of education yeah you know, being, just, if, if just you're going to be a scientist or you're going to study med or whatever, sure, there's a few core subjects that you're going to do and yeah. you're going to do well in, and that's fine for those people. But there's obviously a massive gap there where it's yeah. like it's still fairly limiting. Totally. Yeah. And if you're a creative person, what does school offer? It really only offers a art program that's yeah. just art, art yeah. painting or art design. And yeah. for me, art design was amazing, and that led on to cool things. But there's so many more different forms of creativity there than just, okay, you're an art student or you're a science student or an English. You're you talking know, about in high school. At high school, school yeah. yeah, yeah, high school. I mean, it's separated into, what, four different kind of categories, yeah, which yeah, is just sure. not broad enough. Yeah, I've, I've never studied outside of high school, but um, I remember in my last year being asked, you know, having to choose what your final subjects were going to be for that year. And I just remember looking through the the courses and being like, what, why I don't want to do any of this. Any, Nothing yeah. of this appeals to sure. me. I have to pick something here. So it was just like I have to pick something random um, because there's not really that much available. It's it's yeah. just your core stuff and then sort of weird spin-offs of, mm-hmm. those, of mm-hmm. those main courses as well. And then when you get to, um, granted, I, I, I like I say, I haven't studied outside of high school, but when you, when you actually look into courses at university and polytechs and things, you go like, holy shit, like, why didn't I have any of these choices totally, beforehand? Yeah, exactly. But, and, and I think people have, a lot of people have missed it at that chance. You know, like by that point, they've started something else and they've gone down a path and mm. whatever, that might be great. But if you're only hearing about different options and different things when you've graduated from high school, yeah. like uh, it's kind of sad. So yeah. many people must have missed out on opportunities where they could have been inspired to do something creative or For do sure. something different. For you sure. Know? I, st- I think the, the platform that, uh, or rather the, um, the way that that school works, like in a high school level, is is pretty old school. Like mm. I think we're pretty lucky in our generation to have access to to online tools and things oh, like that, and yeah. or figure out how you can actually make a living in other ways. Like because school is really just teaching you like these are the topics that we do. Mm-hmm. You need to choose one that is relative to a job that you're going to be doing. It's yeah. like, well, what if a, something I want to do is not anything to do with yeah, this? Yeah, exactly. It's like, well, you fuck, so you have to yeah. pick something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's yeah, the, exactly. the and waste your that time. I yeah, you exactly. Know. That's but, what it felt like to me oh, in that when I was picking those courses. It was like, if I, like I, I have to choose how my life is going to run based off mm. of these courses. And mm. it was like, nothing's there or my life's going to be and nothing. E- even if it wasn't, like, if there's not another solution, one solution could be within those courses, if you have to pick from those fundamental courses, make sure that they're diverse enough that 
you experience some different things. Yeah. Like if it was like what we were talking about, shares or whatever, yeah. I did economics at school. Yeah. And that seems like that should be a very worldly subject. You know, you should learn about practical sure. economic things. Yeah. But really you don't. It's still just the same. It's still run from a textbook that's outdated. Yeah. It's basically answer the questions, learn how to sit an exam and, and just learn how to be good at tests yeah. instead of going – let's study real world examples, you know, let's yeah. bring people at, at Polytech. That was what they did pretty well was looking at case studies. That, that's the best way to learn is say, here's an example of someone or a business or a product or here's what they did well or here's what they did wrong. And then basically yeah. just analyze it. And it's a real world thing. You go, okay, I know what that is. And I can analyze whether it's good, bad or otherwise, yeah. you know, yeah. but at school, you're just reading from a textbook. Just yeah. And that was, that was another thing. Sometimes I didn't even know, like at school, I didn't know what economics was. Sure. No one told me what economics yeah, was. And sure. that, that might just be me, but it was like, sure, this is another topic that's available, but what what am I actually doing mm. in this in this thing? And, the, and the, it only really gives you sort of prerequisites and sort of a basic rundown of what it is. But even then it's still like, that just looks scary to me. Oh, like course. if I don't yeah. know what yeah. it is that I'm actually going to be doing in that mm. class, why would I do it? And that, that puts like, it and and kids at that age teachers. aren't going to go out of their way to go to a teacher to ask things. Like exactly. I would never, ever think no. about going out of my way to go and to oh. see a teacher and be like, hey, can you help me decide? Yeah, yeah most just, days you're just turning up to school, yeah. looking forward to lunch and then yeah, going home. I mean, you're man. not going yeah. out of your way to learn, yeah. which is a problem because it's probably the best thing you could possibly do. So you many know? people, so many kids at that age aren't ready to learn either. Like I was ready to learn, like in in terms of actually being interested in in any sort of course or or any mm-hmm. sort of learning of any kind was like a couple of years ago. Yeah, and that was from it sounds sort of silly in comparison, but just from like watching videos on YouTube, like no, like a physics totally related agree. thing, and it I, was like this is so much more interesting. Of course, and I don't know if it was just that that sort of sparked my interest because it was um, presented to me in a particular way, or mm. the, whether it was just like okay, I understand why this mm-hmm. is being taught mm-hmm. or I understand why this is interesting to some. So I was more willing to learn. So I sort of went on a spiral of, of finding online information totally. based and on these and things. It's, and it's presented to you in a way that is tolerable yeah. and understand. You know, that's yeah. the new age media where we'll probably relate to that more and take more out of that because they've chosen to do it in a creative way or yeah. something different or something modern. It actually interests us where at school, as you said, it seems like an outdated system. And yeah. if you ask most people what you remember, what your best thing maybe from a teacher or something at school was, is usually not actually what you learn to what the subject is. It's a type of relationship. Yeah, it's just sure. like who's your favourite teacher is nothing yeah. to do with usually what you learn. No, it's just who's all. your favourite teacher. Yeah. Who did you get on with the best? But that's a huge part of it It's as a well massive too, part. Man. So that's why like, if we learn a lot off YouTube or, you know, doing our own research or watching, I don't know, whatever it is, mm. new stuff, even social media, like there is some good stuff on there. It's because we feel like we have a relationship with yeah. that person maybe or their you know, it feels more targeted and personalized. Yeah, so exactly. if you go onto YouTube, there's however many billion videos you are, you can actually specify what you want yourself, find it without any of the other bullshit. Yeah, yeah, you know? exactly. Which is what hopefully some sort of a future school system could be like where you, you pick your own learning yeah. And, yeah. and, you know, it might inspire kids to actually be like, this is something I'm interested in, here's a way I can learn about it. Yeah, for sure. Instead and of just, this is what, you're going to learn what everyone else learns, yeah. you know? Yeah, exactly. And, and, and to that, point 